Okay. This video is going to talk about um, Glowing C1, Green Tech, Railroad, and Glowing C2. Um, but this is going to be a pretty quick video because there's not much difference in this part of the run between the Brotherhood ending and the Institute ending. So, most of this is already talked about in the um, regular survival mode tutorial. Um, relevant videos of which I'll have in the description. Um, so you exit. This run here is the same as normal. So this way, into the power armor. Then you keep on running. Um, over here, just like in the other one, you, you could try to keep an eye out for the um, food paste. Uh, I think there I like... Yeah, double check, but it wasn't any, so that's fine. Um, and then carry on this way. And then coming up... Yeah, okay. Right here, you'll see me jump into the water. Um, but you don't actually have to do that. What you can do is you can run this way and then run pretty much to there, the middle of the bridge, horizontally speaking. So you run to there. Um, then you want to do a running jump that way so that you're as far that way as you can be. And then you'll land about there and you can just go that way on land, which is much faster than going that way on water. It's probably about 20 seconds faster. Um, this would save about 20 seconds in this run. Um, 40 in the regular survival mode. But, yeah, just do that. Um, then jump over this. Um, and then just basically follow the dot there. The thing about the Glowing Sea quest is it'll automatically activate itself. So you'll, you know, you'll, you'll by default have this marker there. Um, but it's fine because this is like a pretty good route to Virgil. Um, but also, you want to be extra extra certain that you discover the location edge of the glowing sea, which is coming up a bit. And that's because later on, on the way to the Sentinel site, you'll be vertebrating to this location before going to Waypoint Echo. Um, so that's it coming up and then it's there a uh, pretty small size of that but yeah basically basically that and then all of this is the same you just run follow this basically to the up over here, this is the crater of Atom. Um, then you go to this side. This is like the south side. Yeah, south side. Run west. Um, run until you're north of Virgil's Cave, which is coming up. Uh, yeah, which is yeah, up over here. So about here, you're north of the cave and then run down to it. Um, in this run, you don't need to worry about killing the Deathclaw yet. You can just go straight in. Um, and then 
the can chimes are free steel. But because you don't repair your power armor again in this run, it's not as needed. Um, it's just mainly there as a spare for the teleporter. Pick that up. Talk with Virgil. Um, you'll level up again. Exit. Um, yeah. Okay, that was actually quick load. Um, throw down the single grenade. Kill the death wall then. Because um, you have about a minute before the vertebird comes on lands. So you may as well kill the death claw anyway. But also because you don't want to leave the death claw alive. And it's got meat that you can have. So now at this point you have two death claw meats. Along with anything else that you've picked up. Um, and, then you, and then you just wait for the vertebrate to land. So now, so now it's landed. Oh, another thing with using the vertebrate single grenades. You'll do this animation. The minigun will be at this sort of angle. And then it'll snap to being it. Okay. You, you, you just saw that there. It'll snap to being in the middle. And that's when you can use your Pip-Boy. Um, and then just go over... Yeah, because yeah, I forgot to get the CRT ruins, I went to Cambridge Polymer Labs. Um, so, go to Cambridge Polymer Labs unless you have CRT ruins, in which case go to the CRT ruins. Um, and then if this is just any, like any other vertebrate ride, look at the sky, steam if you have to. Um, so, drop down, run straight this way. Um, now this coming up is a thing that I've started doing I think yeah but I don't know if this thing is faster or not I run this way um, I go up the gate I run up this stairs, jump down, and then keep on running. And it saves me from having to run around um, and from having to jump up the lights. But it also means I have to wait for the gate to open. Um, I have to like climb up the steps and I have to... Um, I also take more damage doing that. So it might not be worth it. Um, so yeah, and then when you enter, eat more food. Because you need to have as much health as you can reasonably get in this part of the run. Um, and then this is the same as the green tech in the regular survival mode. Um, yeah. Nothing different. The only thing you see me do that... Yeah, the only thing you see me do that's different to either my personal best or something that I did after that is I don't... I don't do a jet jump from here to there because... Basically, two things can happen with that. I can either have that be done quickly, in which case I have to wait over over there anyway for the explosions to finish. Um, while and while doing that, I'd be taking damage and whatnot. So that's not very good. Um, Or it just takes a really long time to get the right jump. Because a lot of the time, what things seems to happen is that you, you don't... For some reason, your jump is like extremely small. So you, you have a lot of difficulty jumping onto this rail. 
Um, so it's a lot better to run this way. That way you don't even have to wait for the explosions to pass. It's enough time running through here. Um, and also you're, you're in cover, so you won't take as much damage from the enemies. Other than that gob here, this is normal. Just shoot that guy. Um, yeah, I don't pick up the stealth boy because in the Brotherhood ending there's no place where you would use them. Unlike with the Institute where you need them a lot more. So you go up here, um, terminal exit, jump down, stomp skip, um, go through here. Um, this, yeah, this is the same route as in the re the regular run. You go down here, same as the other one. You kill the ghouls, but if it's legendary, you just make sure to destroy its legs so it can't chase you. Uh, put in the password. Um, the, p the password is railroad. Uh. Here, I don't know if I mentioned this in the other in the other tutorial, but you don't want to start shooting over here until the lights come on. Otherwise, they don't come on at all, and it's dark and it's hard to see, and it's not really worth it to do that. So shoot those guys. At a moment, you'll be able to move. You can shoot these guys over here. And then go in here. And this is same as again. The same as the regular survival mode run. Except for a kind of small difference. You go yeah, you go left here into where Pam is, and you kill Pam as well. This doesn't prevent you from having to come back into here but it does mean that when you do come into here you don't have to go all the way into the railroad place and then Tinker Tom huh, lost a bit of time with that but yeah do that enter the thing <coughs> do that exit use the thing and then leave. And that's also the same as normal. So you exit. Um, and then once you get over here, turn your armor to the side a bit, then exit. So that it's waiting here. When you go back in to kill, you know, to do the killing the railroad quest later on in the game. Um, but I'll go into that at that point in the tutorial. So you exit. By this one you have Aqua Girl, so you can just swim across the water just fine. So you go, yeah, so you sleep in the bed. Um, didn't really matter in this case, but, you know, you one thing that can happen, one thing you can do for you, you like get, ba get bad luck with this, or if you want to I guess be a bit more cautious with this is you can sleep all the way till night time that way you'll be less likely to get spotted in the air um, so um, so yeah um, but you, you can also just do 7 hours that's fine Six fifty one. Um, okay, so at that point, a lot of the time, yeah, in speedruns of this, I've had difficulties, and you probably will too. Um, 
difficulty with the Brotherhood aggroing against the uh, super mutants that are on the other side of the river. Um, there's a way to kind of get around that, but they can have bad effects. Um, but that, that's also why. Yeah. Um, that's also why rather than throwing the signal grenade at the Boston Airport settlements, which I used to do, I now throw it over here so that the vertebrate won't aggro onto the super mutant, so I can enter the vertebrate faster. Um, so you wait for the vertebrate to land. Oh, I also hotkey the red X. In that case, I had four. Four is the minimum. You want to have more than four, but four is okay. Um, wait for it to land. Then this is the same as usual. Uh, but there'll come a point where you'll start to take damage. Yeah. So at this point, you'll start to take damage and you'll see it over here. You'll start taking six, yeah, six reds. So at that point, take half of your red X. Um, fly down, enter um, Virgil's cave. And I wasn't hidden. I've had situations in which a red scorpion will follow me into here. Um, if that happens, just kill it. Um, actually, if it follows you in, use a jet and a quantum to get past it and then kill it on the way back. That way you won't get hurt by your own, your own explosions. Um, and then throw another vertebrate grenade down. Um, wait for the vertebrate. At some point when the around where the vertebrate lands, you'll start taking your red damage again. So what you want to do is either when you start taking six reds, or right as the vertebrate is landing, you want to take the rest of your red X so that you won't take reds on the way out to the glowing sea. Um, I think in this case it happened a bit before it started to land. Maybe not. Okay, so th as it was landing, I took the two red X. Um, then you enter Vertibird directly to the Prid one. Yeah, first time you Vertibird is it's to Virgil's cave. This time it's to the Prid one. And if you Vertibird to the Prid one, the Vertibird will actually dock onto the Prid one. Um. And then also take, you know, if your cams run out, take more. Because that, that, that'll help with survivability as well. Then look at the sky. And that's it for the ride. You'll dock. Talk with Elder Maxon. So this is a usual dialogue. Pretty sure this is a normal one. I don't think there's any special dialogues after this. Yeah. So then you, then you go back down to the airport. Talk with Ingram. Run over here. Uh, do I s save? No. So at this point is when you want to pick up those items again, except for the magnet. You want to pick up the bioscanner and the two military grade circuit boards. Um, that way they're like ready to use. Build this, 
run back, more dialogue, come back. A lot of the time here, you won't be able to build the teleporter immediately, like the beam emitter. So you'll have to, if you put the reflector right there, you'll have to scrap basically those, those couches, that ashtray, and the carpets around there as well. And that'll like clear room for this beam emitter. And then everything else fits pretty normally. Um, I don't think it matters where you put the console because Ingram is limited by her dialogue and not where she is. Um, and, and then you want to build six medium generators. Um, and this is why we get the ceramic. In this case, uh, the limiting factor was actually... I believe it was... Yeah, screws. Screws and rubber. But you'll generally have enough screws anyway. Huh. Yeah, you'll you'll usually have enough screws anyway. Um Come to think of it, I think a desk fan has three screws in it. Let me. Oh, this one doesn't use screws. Okay. Yeah. So, so I guess if you run out of screws, you can make up the rest of it with the small generators and that um and also if you don't have enough um if 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 you don't have enough rubber there's rubber in the settlements but yeah but you know build as many mediums as you can if you can only build 5 mediums make up the rest in smalls otherwise build it all connect them up all together once you've connected all the wires at this point, uh, you want to sleep for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Completed power up. So I sleep a bit there. I do seven hours. Probably don't need to. Um. And do the chems again because that small stretch I didn't need to do them. But yeah, sleeping there basically teleports Elder Maxon over here, so you don't have to run to where he is. So you talk to him, talk to Ingram, and you'll stand on this. They'll give you the um. They'll give you the hollow tape. That's fine. That's. I mean, it wouldn't be fine if they didn't do it, but yeah. And. Yeah, then you'll be teleported in. And that's it for this video. Um, the next one is going to deal with um, the Institutes and Sentinel site, I guess. Um. So yeah.